This is another question which very few people got right, guys, but if you can do it, this is basically free marks. Let's have a look at this one. The question says, write six X to the power of five, Y to the power of three, all to the power of two over three X to the power of two, Y to the power of seven times by four X, Y to the power of negative three, in the form a x to the power of b y to the power of c where a b and c are integers guys loads going on there basically all that we have to do is simplify this algebraic fraction what can we do well first of all we're going to simplify our numerator and simplify our denominator on the top we have 6 x to the 5 y to the 3 all to the power of two. Whenever we have something inside brackets to a power, guys, we need to raise every single term inside the brackets to the power. In this case, we're going to do six to the power of two. That's going to be 36. We're going to do x to the power of five to the power of two. When we have a base to a power raised to another power, we multiply those powers together. So we do five times by two is gonna give us 10. So x to the power of 10. Likewise for the y, we're gonna do the three times the two. That is gonna give us y to the power of six. Now simplifying our denominator, we're gonna have three x squared y to the seven times by four x y to the power of negative three. We're going to multiply our number three by our number four. Three times four is 12. And then we're going to do our x to the power of 2 times by our x. x is essentially x to the power of 1 because any number to the power of 1 is just itself. So we have x to the power of 2 times by x to the power of 1. Using our laws of indices, x to the power of 2 times by x to the power of 1. We're going to add those powers together. 2 plus 1 is going to give us 3. And then simplifying our y's, we're going to have y to the 7 times by y to the power of negative 3. So we're going to add the negative 3 to the 7. 7 plus negative 3 is 7 take away 3, which is going to give us 4. So we have y to the power of 4 here. Now we can simplify. What are we going to do? We're going to do our 36 divided by our 12. So our number on the top divided by the number on the bottom. 36 divided by 12 is 3. Next up, we're going to do our x to the power of 10 divided by our x to the power of 3. Whenever we have a base to a power and we divide it by the same base to another power, we subtract those powers. So we're going to do 10 subtract 3 is going to give us 7. So we have x to the power of 7. And finally, our y's, we're going to do y to the 6 divided by y to the power of 4. That is going to give us y to the power of 2 because 6 take away 4 is 2, giving us our answer of 3x to the power of 7, y to the power of 2. Um, we could say if we wanted to that a is equal to 3, the number at the start, the b is equal to 7, the power on the x, and the c is equal to 2, the power on the 